Alright, welcome to episode 11 of my Bradford City career mode. It's been an up and down kind of career mode. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the league table, if I can find it. There we go. Four games, two wins, two losses. Goal difference of one. And uh, we'll take a quick look back if you don't know the results already. If you aren't aware of what's been happening in this career mode. Take a look at the calendar. We'll go back to the start of August where our official season started. We faced Cambridge, lost 1-0. Beat, uh, beat Grimsby 1-0, I should say. Lost in the Carabao Cup first round in the last minute to Scunthorpe, 2-1. Lost 3-0 to Oldham, got our asses smacked, but we made up for it by smacking Stevenage, 4-0, with our new formation. And then Forest Green is up next, and that's what we're going to do today. We've also put a loan deal in for Connor Chaplin. I should probably show you that, uh, that quickly. We're paying his wage 65 35 We'll find out after this game whether we get him. It's an extra striking option, and he's actually probably better than the strikers we have at the club. Tried to sign some of the other ones, but couldn't sign any of them. And I'm going to keep recording episodes today until we get to the end of the transfer window, so if you're re going to recommend any transfers, I'll have to wait till January, I'm afraid. Just make sure that this team sheet is the one we have. I'm going to start Donaldson, because he actually done bits last game. Captain C will go to Richards Everton, which I'm cool with. Have we got any... We'll, go, we'll put a centre mid on at the bench. Or, yeah, on the bench as well. We've got Anderson. Why didn't I get to use Anderson as a sub last time? Whatever. Doesn't matter anyway. We're going to move into our 11th game of the series against Forest Green. Of course, one game per episode. This is our 6th competitive game. But also our uh, 11th overall because we've done 5 preseason games. So we're going to use this formation again because it worked a dream last time. Whether it'll work in as far as Green, we'll have to wait and see. We have Grill and Goal, Kikache and Meller as the fullbacks. Actually, we're going to give Meller a little break. We're going to put Henley there, see how he does, because he hasn't played in a little while. I don't want his morale going down. Put him in the wrong place. I put Colville on. Oops. Well, <laughs> Henley's there now. We have Rich Everton and O'Connor as the centre backs, our two main ones. Probably the Mooney to uh, invest in another one, or maybe get one at the Youth Academy, hopefully, if we can get a good one. Carbonero and Scannell as the wide midfielders. Akpan and Palmer as the centre midfielders. McCartan as the centre attacking mid or centre forward. And Donaldson up front alone. I'm trying to think for what I was going to say about the right mid position. Scannell is playing better than this mail right now. So I'm going to keep Scannell there for now. And uh, maybe give this mail a chance later on. See if he can prove himself again. Because Scannell has been making chances. Whether he's got assists or goals or not is a different matter. But he has been making chances. As we saw in the last game, I right, tackling doesn't work. It's 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 confirmed. It's just confirmed. That's confirmed my suspicion. Foul opponent. Okay, cool. This is a dumb drill anyway. Yeah, cool. Yeah, whatever. Maybe I'm just bad at defending. I'll need to accept it at some point, but I refuse. Anyway, we're at home. Hello, We've lost every we game we've played at home, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not exactly positive here. But Derek Ray and Lee Dixon as a commentary. I put this as a preferred, which means we could still have Martin Tyler and Alan Smith at points, but these are the ones I prefer because I haven't had them in commentary before, so... I know they were in FIFA 19, but I didn't have FIFA 19. So talk about McCartan. Immediate impact into League Two. What do you expect to see from his game? Well, yeah, brace in Keeps his starting position. Certainly be a threat. Can he get another two goals or even three in this game? Well, one change in the Bradford City lineup with Riley. Not Riley. Yeah, Riley. Making way for Henley. Obviously, Mello got put back there because Riley got sold. But then we swap Mello out. So I guess we swap Mello. I don't know. Basically, Henley is right back. So accept it. Boris Green and Bradford say shaking hands. I actually didn't know where Forest Green was at first, like when I first heard of them, but I'm pretty sure they're in they Gloucestershire. For the home side. I think that's what it said. There's our two, squad. But not necessarily a conventional one. Yeah, more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek, and that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. That's the whole point of the second striker. That's why I've got McCartan in that position. He's got the speed and the creativity. So that last game, we're hopefully going to see it this game. So Any bets they play five at the back? Shocker. 
Every fucking, it seems every League 2 team plays five at the back, besides me. I am a, an exception to the rule. Scannell is, okay, Henley just didn't want to move, all right. I was kind of hoping it'd overlap early, but I guess not. Scannell now. Akpan. Get the ball now. I'm feeling a little bit more confident with this team. Couldn't get in, I couldn't, well, Donaldson wasn't really in any great space, so I couldn't really get a ball through him. Collins has it. Dawson. Dawson now for Forest Green Rovers. Henley's going to have to catch up with Allen here. It doesn't matter though, because the cross is garbage and the grill could catch with no problem. That's fine play, so Shane McCartan now. His speed is uh, one of a foul here. Like a bad tackle from McGinley, Looking and it's going to be a yellow, I think, in the first five minutes here for Forest Green. So early in Indeed it is. Really Carton just got for and taken. Well, it the Not even close to the ball. The Eucatricity sponsors have got their first them. yellow card for their team, I guess. Still wearing our suit on the touchline. Only League 2 manager that actually uh -huh. looks decent. Obviously we're probably going to change that when it comes closer to winter. Uh, maybe into a, what, a winter jacket or something. Palmer into Donaldson. It's a brilliant dive. And it stopped Donaldson from converting the chance. Thinking too much about Theo Johnson's um, fashion. Not enough about the chance I'd created. One of the way it passed, it's stopped by Kakache. Carbonero. Got the first goal in League 2 for Bradford City. And it seemed to have uh, opened floodgates for more now, despite the fact we had a couple of games that didn't get goals for us. Carbonero tried to cut in, closed down well. I feel a lot better with this formation. I'll say that until we concede a goal. But I feel a lot better about how this has worked. 4 0 victory last time. We're standing strong here against Forest Green early on. Still making chances. I press X to clear it, it goes absolutely nowhere. Okay, but at least with 12 our players, I couldn't accept that. Palmer. Scannell's calling for it, but Palmer's going through the middle alone. And he's been fouled. Or was it, I, I don't know, 50, maybe a clean tackle there. But I did intercept, but then lost it again. Yay. Let's see it. Good interception from Richards Everton making up for the fact that he lost possession there. Hammer losing the ball. For you, the away side did score. Just like they're all playing on the same and team here, giving it back to each other every time. My mic Dawson. is being a little bit dodgy, so I apologise for Adam. that if it cuts out suddenly. Or it's just cutting out a little bit, so I don't know what's up with it. I just do that from time to time for some reason. Forest Green try to play it down the left, it's not worked for them, and now McCartan has space on the right. Donaldson the only option, but he's getting space. marked like a sniper. Well, Donaldson controls. The defender left him. Donaldson controlled it and finished it. And it's now 1-0 well, to Bradford City here saying. at the Valley Parade. The McCartan and Donaldson combination works together well again. McCartan got a break there on the right-hand side. The His pace school, Derek, put him in a perfect position. Here. The defender ran off the pitch for some reason. Donaldson controlled it, took his time and leathered it past Forest Greenkeeper who was out of position. The position of the goalkeeper maybe helped that chance go in there. But Donaldson well, all the hard is starting to find off, his feet. The manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure Three this goals game. now for the veteran striker. And he may be starting permanently ahead of Vaughan if he continues this form. So the match has restarted. One nil, one -nil now. I'm happy. I'm actually winning at home. This might have been our. This formation might have been our uh, best Thank idea you, yet. Although well, it wasn't really my idea. There was a guy in episode one who told me what he did, and I've kind of just adapted it a little bit with one striker instead of two. It's a shot, but an easy grab. For Grill, yeah, Henley, fully in control there. turns the left midfielder, and manages Palmer. to get out to Palmer. Scannell, McCartan's making the run, I think he's onside. And he's in. He is onside. He can't finish it though, Palmer. Turn it back in for Carbonero. Oh. 
I didn't know it was onside. I wasn't really sure about the goal in with the opportunity. But it was, and uh, could have been 2-0 there. McCartan making some very good runs. Akpan. Donaldson in the middle. Turns his man. And it's another for Clayton Donaldson. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted. And just and the what they The 35-year-old. It's proving that he's never, you're never too old. I guess. <laughs> Donaldson turning his man like a champion. Well, when we see this again, it is a Akpan wonderful effort. with the ball in. Donaldson effort. turns defender, leaves him for dead. Bottom right hand corner. He, takes full advantage. he scored two goals with a weak foot now. From a different angle. Four goals in just two games now for Clayton Donaldson. And this could be a start with Bradford City that may pr be promoted into League One. Ever since the formation change, I've had a completely different outlook on this career mode. Going their way, City goal. Six Newton goals in a total of 120 Newton minutes with this formation has put us in good stead. Forrest Green try to attack, uh, try to attack I should say, Scannell. He's a ball, One Donaldson, ever off McCartan. Scannell making some room, Mills can't keep up. Donaldson could be on for the hat-trick here, Mills he's out of position, but it's... Oh, it was almost crossed, I believe, to Palmer. I might have been McCartan, actually. I didn't Dawson. really check. Let's focus on Donaldson's position, see if I could try and get him backwards for the hat-trick. But Mills. didn't. And now Forrest Green are in control here. Henley coming across. Allen still with the ball. Really the cross is the decent, box. but it's a punch oh, away punch from Leonard Grill. Akpan. Carbonero. Donaldson spots McCartan running through but couldn't just get the power on the pass unfortunately I think Donaldson's more of a strat just a scorer than a Mills. actual setup player Donaldson. I guess Scannell coming back couldn't get the leg across it's Forrest Green had a chance it's it punched away by Grill still in the possession of Forrest Green and O'Connor brilliant really. tackle Palmer loses possession but it's going to stick with Bradford here just wanted to I'm just going to calmly play it away I believe there's been a goal Donaldson. in one of the other matches. Alan McAdam couldn't control. It's blocked again by Richards Everton. It's not cleared and well though, and it here. will be a goal. That's I can't even be mad. That was such a bad clearance. And they have the momentum now. Forrest Green get one back for James Collins. And it was all my fault. I can't even get mad. I should have, I should have just X buttoned it. See, right Everton, right did, Richard Everton Strikers did so well. It's played straight back, unfortunately, no and it's passed into Collins and Grill. Well, despite having a good display goal, so far we? today, just couldn't get to that in time. Well, the coach won't be happy. They were cruising this game, but not now. It's made the game more interesting, at least. Oh, it's Aaron Collins, not James Collins. My bad. James Collins, I believe, plays in the higher league. I always get the first names wrong. I should just not assume the first names. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Anyway, 2-1 now, Bradford City. Still a goal ahead, but slightly... Palmer. Not Well, it's not as a comfortable lead as they had. Forrest Green have kind of put themselves back in this game a little bit. Donaldson. It could come right, through to McCartan, Sydney, but he couldn't get the pass off. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, and a perfect ball. Now. Henley oh, can't get it to Dawson. Which Everton need to come across. Well, it's just wide. Bradford well, defence got left for dead Paul there. Garrett, Dawson's pace. So Which Everton came across late and it could have been a penalty. Or if he'd fall, well, I don't know if he'd fallen over, it could have been a penalty. Possibly a penalty shout. But he'd already taken the shot, so perhaps not. We've got the injury time here now, three minutes. Goal kick for Grill, just get it up the pitch, keep us in the lead, heading into the break, and then we'll try and get a couple more in the second half, I would say, would be the plan. Palmer, try and play the possession game, I would say, here. Scannell, back to Palmer, head to Akpan. Do we have time for one more attack? Palmer is the target, couldn't get the possession, couldn't receive the pass. Do they have time for one more attack? No, they don't. Richards Everton with a good interception, and we go into the break 2 1 up to the Bantams. 
Donaldson has been a brilliant player so far this game. He scored two last game as well. This formation might have reinvented his rough city career. Probably going to bring on Vaughn part of the second half though to keep Donaldson fit. He's scoring like he is. Take a look around the grounds. All one goal affairs. Or one goal scored by each team. Either that or zeros. There seems to be any twos on that board. But we've got one of the twos. We've got two goals. Donaldson, let's take a look at the stats. Very even match, actually. Three shots for both teams. We've had 100% shot accuracy. They've put one wide. And the possession is close as well. We've just had a tiny bit more. It's been very even. It could easily be a draw. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Forest Green kicking off the second half here in the Valley Parade. Alan. We've had Mills. a tangle. Dawson. Happy to pass the ball, but Henley keep, oh Henley regains position, I should say. Dawson. Just keep the ball on the right. The I I wasn't anywhere near him, he's just followed over side. there. I'm pretty sure anyway. Dawson. I was I was I wasn't controlling Adams. him, it was AI. An Good interception by Ak Pan and Palmer now can bring it out for Bradford. Donaldson, for some reason, is playing centre attacking mid, and uh, Shane McCartan's playing striker. I've got to question that one. Trying to shut him down, or at least make him yep, put it in. wide. Drill with a good catch. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Controlled by McCartan to Palmer now. Carbonero. Casemiro has completed his move to Bayern Lee. Well, Derek, the figure oh, I think Palmer is the possession. Casemiro's got to Bayern. That's an interesting one. What heck of a player for that sort of money? He should be a real asset to the club. At deadline day, we'll take a look for all the transfers, all the biggest names, and of course our own business as well. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Carbonero tracking back here. Interesting play. Catch it. Wasn't in the left back position for some reason. Two. Carbonero, great tackle, but it's not away. Really be able to them here. There's so many bad players to put him off there, it's not going to be a goal, unfortunately, for Forrest Green. Grill. It's a save, now Carbonero receives the ball. Could have been a foul there, but they play advantage. Donaldson. He has just alive. run through. He couldn't, he couldn't run past the dead position. monkey a couple of weeks ago, and he's just done most the of the Forest Green defence. How am I getting a yellow card, card then? The We're the one that was getting an advantage. No, it's absolutely spot on. Keep the game going you're going to replay me complaining can. about then the thing? Yeah, because there's no tackle that's worth a yellow card there, I think. Although, to be honest, I don't remember what happened. Forest Green making their first substitutions. We'll be doing ours in a little while. Maybe in about 10 minutes' time. Maybe thinking perhaps we can get another goal before we uh, do our substitutions just to try and put the game to bed. James. Forrest Green just passing around, trying to build up an attack here. The, it's been a long ball attempt, but Henley has it covered. Palmer now, heavy touch, doesn't keep the ball. Collins, Collins playing it backwards. Forrest Green going to try James. and build from the back, I think, here. James now for Green, uh, the Green Rover team. Well, they continue their push for the equalizer, Didn't know what I was trying to say there. Late foul, but the advantage is played. And he has clear options in the middle. Blocked by O'Connor. Possibly a yellow card there for Bradford City well, we Man. See which one it was. McAnally I believe it was Richard Everton. Second goal for the visitors. 65 minutes played. Two nil. Second goal for the visitors. The visitors being McAnally Salford, of course. You can see that in the top right. I can't because the chat bar is in the way. Akpan. Carr's not as much like running to do as this game as he had last game. Just to confirm for you, a goal Donaldson for into Akpan in loses the ball. And the lead at the moment is two. Next time the ball goes out of play, I'll probably make it. Okay, well. I'm getting a yellow card there for Richards Everton. There's three yellow cards now. I'm gonna bring Scannell off. And I think that's all we're gonna do for now. Oh no, we're gonna bring Anderson on for Palmer, give him a break. And ah fuck it, let's make all our three subs now. Vaughn for Donaldson. Donaldson's got his two goals. Just a matter of keeping these three points under wraps. Yellow card, like I said. 
Uh, he's got a short first name, but he's got a hell of a long second name. Ben Richards Evans. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want Triple to substitution. Stop. Let's get this win. The win might propel us into the playoffs. I'm not sure. Arbonero, Akpan. Lawn now. He turns the defender. He takes on his left, and it's just not accurate enough. He turned the defender like Donaldson did, but couldn't get the shot off like Donaldson did. Unfortunately, it's wide. Bill Johnson aware that that could have been three, but it wasn't. Unfortunately. I'm kind of regretting taking Donaldson off now, actually. We should have kept him on for the full 90, but he would have been tired for the uh, next game against bloody the next team. Got the possession still. Ismail couldn't get it for it to McCartan, and they've cleared it for absolutely no reason for a corner. There was literally no danger. I will take a corner. I'm not going to complain. 18 minutes remaining here at the Valley Parade. Problem with signing Chaplin on loan is we're going to have a lot of strikers and only one striker position. So have to be a lot of rotation probably. I think any I don't think any one striker will play the 90 minutes. Carbonero going to try to run back in here. He's getting pressured and it's worked. Fair play. Let's try to make sure they don't get counter attack more than anything. Carbonero. Oh, it's Inception, Branson. Carbonero was looking for Inception, but couldn't get it. Vaughn can't turn. And the usual captain, obviously, won't be the captain for this game. We've already got Richard Everton with the armband, and he's still on the pitch, so he won't regain the armband. Can I have a three ball that works now, please? We're going so well. Vaughn. Through to Anderson. Couldn't get the shot off. It's a very good block. Forrest Green. Dawson. Good try and counter here with some pace. Might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Just one of you put a tackle in, please. Anyone? Yes, O'Connor. Dealing with the threat that was real. Vaughn can't beat James. Mills. Dawson. Blocked by Henley. Anthony Henley has had a good game at right back. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan Anderson's been fouled. It's a second goal for Colchester United. Eight minutes remain. Off to Akpan. Many thanks, Alan. How are we going to break down 11 forest green players now. here? We're going to lose it straight away. That's how, because I passed it off and it didn't register. I'm not going to get angry because I want to win, but if they make it to all, I'll be a little bit pissed. Dawson. And give it away. Anderson to Vaughan. Well, he's got the space. He's got the time. And he's got the third goal for Bradford City. It's all but assured now. Sorry if there's lag on the stream. I don't know what's up with that. Oh my days, it's lagging like a bitch. Well, well when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort. I'm not sure so why it's lagging. Effort. Got a question for defenders. They just back off. But and he takes who cares? We've got a third. Well, we pretty much that goal, decided we? that we are winners here. The home curse has been lifted. James Vaughan, I think that's his first goal for League Two. Scored crazily in pre-season. I think he scored in the Carabao Cup as well against Scunthorpe. I don't know if it was his goal, I can't remember exactly. But he's got his first goal in League Two. And with this new formation, hopefully it'll open more opportunities for him. We're going to make a couple of substitutions, actually, even though there's no point, because he probably won't get subbed off until after. Oh, no, I made on my three. Never mind. If I could use my brain, that'd be great. I was going to make a couple... I was going to make a full-back change. I'm not going to disagree with that. Clayton Donaldson, man of the match. Forest Green do get second now. We've got that extra goal lead again. Always useful. Anderson tried coming for the ball, couldn't get. It's blocked, sort of, and it's just wide. Dawson try to finish it off, try to get maybe consolation or even a route back into the game for Forest Green, perhaps. 
but it's just past the post. I don't know if Grill had that covered, but it was wide anyway. Have you had the stoppage time announced yet? We have three minutes. The Valid Parade bursting into song we here the final as the home the curse side. appears to have been lifted. Dawson. And that was a very fine read. Catchy. McCartan, can he make it four? Third and defender, it take the shot. It's a brilliant save. And that's going to be it. 3-1 victory the here at the Valley Parade for Bradford City. I'm going to have to try and sort my microphone out. I don't know why it keeps cutting out from time to time. Two goals from Donaldson, one goal from James Vaughan. Forrest Green did score as well. Forgot who he scored with, to be honest. Well, he never gave that back line Collins, a chance to that's get it a was. Breath. Collins got one for, for Forrest Green. Played superbly well, in the end, really sharp. Bradford were the better team, I would say. I'm defender. not being biased. I'd tell you if we were the worst team. Dawson with two in the first half. Collins, obviously, getting the 41st minute. Goal to half a deficit. And then Vaughan just making sure. He's Four minutes in time. Donaldson seems to have found his feet. 9.1 rating. It was somewhat close. Possession was theirs. Well, it was more in their favour. The shots were more in our favour. Take a look at the ratings here. Donaldson, obviously, 9.1 man of the match. I don't feel like McCartan did as much that game, but he did create a goal. And he's got a 9 rating. Vaughn with 8.1. He scored as well. Akpan with 8.3. Solid midfield play. Grill with a 7.7 .7 in goal. How did Forrest Green do? Their best player was Mondal with an 8.2 rating. Despite the fact that Collins was a goal scorer. Let's go to our post-match interview. I love the post-match interviews when I'm winning. When I'm losing, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want to do this, but I'll do them anyway. Just because it's a nice little addition to career mode, but obviously prefer them if I'm winning. Some questions regarding the match? Yeah, give me some questions then, bitch. Sorry, that was mean. I didn't say bitch. <laughs> With two goals to secure a win, Donaldson was a hero today. Any thoughts? Uh, he... He took the chances he got, yeah. Overall great performance. The entire team deserves credit for the result. It's clear that Donaldson stood out today, but Bradford's a club that always put the group before the individual. Also, because I answered the other one for McCartan. It seems the play style of your team has adopted this match has been quite aggressive. What are your thoughts? You're damn right. We needed to change things up. We were too focused. Oh, he means because the uh, because of the yellow cards. We got carried away by our desire to win. We would definitely adopt a less combative approach going forward. <laughs> it's because of the yellow cards. I understand now. I thought it meant because of the ch formation change, more aggressively attacking. Come into this one, there wasn't much between your side and Forest Green Rovers. Did you have any doubts you'd come away with the win? I'm reading that back on my stream, by the way, in case you're wondering how I know what it says. Um, I was prepared for the worst. <laughs> we weren't too worried, but there were some doubts floating around. The lights come away with the win here. The home curse has been That's lifted. It. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'll not take any more questions. Theo Johnson, all business. Another win. We are in the playoff spots now. Barely, but we are in. Nine points now. Just four points behind the leaders, Crew Alexander. It's still very early in the season. Can't write anything off this early. I stopped with our bad start against... Um, Cambridge in our bad game against Oldham, I thought, eh, I don't know if it's going to be our season, but everything has been turned around on its head and it's going well now. Ever since I've switched to a 4-4-1-1, we've scored seven and conceded one in the past two games, and that is that is good. Um, put some on Carbonero as well, as he is a potential player. Put medium on him, I'll give him a I've got one last week. We'll try, we'll do, I'm trying to get Grill as high as I can because it's always good to have a high rated goalkeeper in your back line. And he's doing well, actually. He's letting in the odd goal. But he's doing well. We'll give Pau a little bit as well. He could get up to 62. He's still pretty young. Grill gets an F and a D, but he still goes up towards 66. Kakache going towards that 69 rating. Carbonero working his way up to the 66. Let's move on and see what. Chaplin says 
He's accepted a one-year loan move to our club. Connor Chaplin will be available for trading and selection. You can already include him in your plans for the next match. He'll return to Barnsley as soon as his one-year loan expires. Sweet as a nut. I don't know what his rating is. It's around, I think it's probably going to be high 60s, maybe low 70s. 64. That's decent, actually. I was way off with what I, my guess was, but... He'll probably rotate in with Donaldson and Vaughn, I think. I thought he was going to be higher than that. He's not, unfortunately. We'll keep him on the bench, so we're going to start Donaldson again because he has been on fire. Defences are terrified. All right, let's take a look at top scorers now. It's probably look a little better for us in this now. Donaldson up there, four goals in five matches. Uh, four goals in the past two games, really. Anyone else in Bradford City? We see McCartan up there, two and five. Vaughn won't be on there because he's only scored one. And that's all there is. Take a look at the assists quickly. McCartan with three assists. Akpam with two assists, Palmer with two assists. The assists are going well. And the clean sheets, we've had two out of five so far. Leonard Grill tied with everyone else nearly. <laughs> Yellow cards were probably on there to be honest. I've not been exactly the cleanest tackling. Scannell with one, he's on there. No reds for us yet, which is always good. So it seems as if th things are uh, coming together. We've made our loan signing. That'll be our, probably our final signing of the August transfer window, I should say the summer transfer window at least. No one else is probably going to come in for our players, so I think that's the transfer business done and dusted. Although they are stopping the sim because we've not got a transfer request, but we've got some things from Henley. I've been in pretty good form lately, I'm feeling good, so hope you're not going to bench me for the match against Crew. You're not getting benched. Well, we'll just say I'll consider it. I haven't figured out the squad yet, but I'll consider your request for announcing the team sheet. That's the easiest way, because if I don't know what I'm picking yet, I could just say I, I'm considering it still. Players leaving on international duty. We've got Kakachi being called up from New Zealand. I'm pretty sure that's an international break anyway. For all the leagues, right? What were the dates? I think it was 5th to the 11th. So he's only missing the Northampton game. We could put Wood in for left back. We've also got Henley we can move across to the left as well. I think it was the 50 11th. Hold on, let me check the dates. Yeah, we're gonna, he's going to miss the Northampton game, which is not the end of the world. We've got cover there. We can attend, we've got a press conference for crew. It's a post match or a pre match press conference. I don't have many of them, but that's going to wait till next time because we will be doing episode 12 very, very soon. I'm going to record it today as well. Finish off a transfer window. But that's going to end episode 11. Things are going into motion now, things are working out. Save it over just so I don't forget and see you guys next time for episode 12.